Hi, welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions you have related to fire, electrical, and life safety. With easy to reuse digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. So one of the most common questions we get here at NFPA when it comes to portable fire extinguishers is how to install them properly. To answer this, we're gonna to turn to NFPA 10, the standard for portable fire extinguishers. NFPA 10 is referenced by many of the most widely used codes and standards, so there's a pretty good chance that it's gonna be enforced within your jurisdiction. All right, so to help me navigate, I'm gonna go over to NFPA Direct. I'm gonna look at some of the fire protection systems and go over to our portable fire extinguisher scenario. Now in here, it's going to help me see a couple of the requirements that we can see for portable fire extinguishers. I'm going to go to portable fire extinguisher mounting. Here we can see portable fire extinguishers other than wheeled extinguishers because wheeled portable fire extinguishers can kind of just sit there on their wheels is required to be installed in one of the following means. So either securely on a hanger intended for the extinguisher in a bracket incorporating releasing straps or bands supplied by the extinguisher or manufacturer. You might see these in portable vehicles and things like that because the straps and bands are really gonna make sure that it's secured. Here in a listed bracket incorporating releasing straps or bands approved for such purpose or four in an approved cabinet or wall recess, which we see a lot. The height of the extinguisher is also gonna be important to so determining the amount of a fire extinguisher. Again, we don't want it to be too high or too low, so we have these three requirements here. If the fire extinguisher is less than 40 pounds, or 18.14 kilograms, we're going to require to install it so the top of the fire extinguisher is no more than 5 feet above the floor. And when you think about this, it's more for safety reasons. You don't want to have to reach up too high for a fire extinguisher. Um, people might not be able to reach it. Also, if you're trying to grab at the very bottom of the extinguisher, it could fall and Portable fire extinguishers are pressurized containers. You don't want them to rupture, causing some sort of incident. Now, if your fire extinguisher is more than 40 pounds, which I will say, or 18.14 kilograms, which is less common, they're gonna be required so that they're no more than three and a half feet above the floor. Again, it's gonna be a heavier fire extinguisher, so you don't want someone having to reach over their head or reach upward to a heavy fire extinguisher because your shoulders are, are you know, not gonna be able to lift it as easily. And this last one is talking about the clearance between the bottom of the portable fire extinguisher and the floor. It cannot be less than four inches or 102 millimeters. This is important because I see a lot of portable fire extinguishers just sitting on the ground. That's not appropriate. The bottom of the portable fire extinguisher is going to rust. It's easy to get knocked over. It's easy to forget about when they're on the floor. Um, and so unless your wheeled portable fire extinguisher, which the wheels keep that fire extinguisher off the ground, then it needs to be at least four inches. And this is a good indication here uh, during this image that can show you the demonstration of a maximum of five feet, or this could be three and a half feet based on the weight of the extinguisher and then a minimum of four inches off the ground. If we keep scrolling down, we'll see the code sections that relate to this. So here we have the extinguisher having a gross weight not exceeding 40 pounds, 18.14 kilograms, shall not be installed so the top of the extinguisher is not more than five feet or 1.53 meters above the floor. Here we have talking about the gross weight larger than 40 pounds or 18.14 kilograms and having the top of the extinguisher not more than three and a half feet or a meter. Here it says, in no case shall the clearance between the bottom of the hand portable fire extinguisher and the floor be less than four inches, 102 millimeters. And this very last one talks about what we just said initially, portable fire extinguishers other than the wheeled ones shall be installed using any of the following means. So again, that hanger intended for the extinguisher, uh, brackets uh, supplied by the manufacturer, brackets listed, or an improved cabinet or wall recess. It's also important to note that you don't want hangers or brackets to be fabricated in the field because we want to make sure that portable fire extinguisher is appropriately supported. It's not going to fall off the wall. It's not going to fall off its bracket. Uh, and so we're going to have only require brackets or hangers provided by the manufacturer or listed. All right, so hopefully that provides some insight into hanging of portable fire extinguishers. For more information about NFPA Link, 
check out nfpa.org slash link.